Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Punter. I'm sure the Puntat's going to want to try some of this, too, when she hears the ingredients. Anyway, this is the legendary Muskoka Oddity. This is actually a spring seasonal. We've aged yeah, it for a little spring. bit. This is the 2013 edition. Nice. I haven't had it aged. It's not really aged. No. It's just we've sat on That's it. That's a before. fucking cool label. It is. It is I, yeah. I actually, I loved the one last year. No, um... 8% alcohol. Uh, here's the ingredients list. Muskoka water, juniper berries, heather tips, sweet and bitter orange peel, North American malted barley, magnum and sriracha ace hops. Nice. Oh, we just talked about those. And, um, um, Trappist yeast. Ooh, Trappist. So that should put in a nice, uh, banana flavor, too. Mm -hmm. Huh. A so, lot of nice, rich ingredients, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ingredients. I love the juniper. It looks really natural, too, the labels. I think it's that's probably where they're going by that. Try for everybody. And it's designed to be put in your oh, cellar, right? Bottle. That it is. And they made it vinyl friendly. It's not wax covered. It's an oddity. <laughs> we like oddities. <laughs> That's the noise the bird on the front makes. <laughs> is that an oddity bird? I don't even know what the okay. hell a bird is. It's an oddity because it's a beard with horns. It's a peacock. Is it a peacock? Yeah. No, I thought it was a beard, a bird with horns. That's there, my hands are slimy from the actual bottle. No, really, they're slimy. <laughs> no judgment. I touched you a while ago. I'll do it. Oh, don't. Oh, I'm like a cock in your mouth, eh? <laughs> It's like a true boss and I got a cork in it. Put a cork in it. Were you afraid there? That was going to blow up in my face? A little bit. No. I want the bottle. You know, we do have that right there. Yeah, whatever. Ugh. That worked too, right? You got to have the right tool for the job. You got a couple of white pearlies. You like the undercarbonated beer we drank last week, Chad. I'll pass this off after we give her a sniff test, but very crystal clear. Crystal I wasn't, clear. Crystal I wasn't expecting it to be that clear, actually. Lots of carbs. Um, nice color too, though. Big bubbles in the head, eh? Um, oh. getting some nice fruit out of there. Out of the bottle, I was smelling mostly the. Uh, the banana from the yeast, and uh, a little bit of the heather. I'm getting banana off the forefront. Yes, I'm getting banana off the forefront for sure. The sriracha ace is putting out a little yeah. bit of that uh, lemon taste, yeah. well, lemon scent. It's a sick. It's got you got a. Citrus I'm not getting smell. the juniper berries though. I didn't get it before. I am. You are. I didn't get it before, no, it is and I'm not getting it now. Maybe it's the banana. I'm getting. I'm getting the banana. Yeah. I'm mistaken. Cheers. But she won't tug with him. Looks good. <laughs> hey, Rev, you want to keep it down back there? <laughs> what is that, Vanessa? Six pounds? Eight, I think. Eight. 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 Slimy so you're, de you're, de <laughs> you're definitely tasting the, the alcohol in it for an eight. This is delicious. I love this. This is actually better than last year's. By a long shot. I could drink. It sounds. I haven't tried. Have you guys tried it? Three of these. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't want to. I'm still. I'm not really tasting the juniper. I'm not with you. And that's just coming oh, from me yeah, because it's a uh, full flavored beer. It is a full flavored beer, and I mean that could be why we're not tasting the juniper berries because they could be hidden. And uh, else. first of all, it's meant to be kept, so it's a great to pop out on occasion if you bought one. Yeah. Nice serious share with friends. Mm -hmm. on very very fruity beer. though. You're getting you're getting a lot of bitter orange. Wow. You're, getting, you're getting the sweet beer? orange. Yeah, you are getting the yes. Or a pairing beer. Yeah. Oh, uh, the heather is coming out on in yeah. this. When you breathe out through your nose, you can taste the juniper. Like on the top of your palate. I'm not doing the wine taste thing. You can though. Good. Yeah, it's a uh, it's full flavored beer, right? Eh? Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, definitely beer. Definitely yeah. Nice. yeah definitely. nice little lemon zest too from the sriracha ace. Not soap in this one. No, not at all. Um, this is a good beer. It the really is. is? Well, it's great that it's a big bottle, and it's a reasonable priced beer. I think it was under $8, right? 
Uh, I believe it was eight or nine. Eight, eight yeah. or nine dollars, but it's so meant to yeah. be shared, cellared, yeah. shared. Lots I can't of, tell you because it's been so long yeah. since it was bought. Lots of nice it was ingredients in, in it. Mm -hmm. Lots of nice ingredients. Right, so in I it. picture this as an after dinner, pop it open and share it with a couple friends, and it mm. would be just even amazing. with dinner. Like it's a good chicken uh, or fish to pair. Yeah, some, some, a meat with less white flavor. A white, yeah. a white meat. Fresh salads. So it's it's so great. It's that. a spring. Even with lamb, it'd be great. Yeah, lamb. That would be great because a lamb usually comes out during spring, so it's a spring beer. It's got a lot of natural ingredients in it. It's great. Really good stuff. So what would you give it out of 10? Uh, for Muskoka, usually what I've had in the past from them, I wasn't never being really pleased by anything. That's probably the best beer I've ever had by that brewery. I'm going to give them an 8.7. For all around bottle, price, ingredients. Yeah. I give it an eight seven. Sorry, I, I, I was listening to you but I was also watching my wife's face because no, she was that's actually good. trying it. She says it's not rotten. Yeah, which means for <laughs> that's her. That's like saying a, a lot. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's like, like a, a ten and a half, at least eleven back there. <laughs> um so eight seven? I eight, I'd seven. give it an eight five myself. I would buy it again. It's just um Finding a time I'd want to drink it, like because yeah. I don't have people over for meals and all yeah. that. It would be finding it the it's, right it's time. It's definitely good to it. share with other people. Yeah, it wouldn't, it, see, that's the reason I'd give an 85, not an 875, because I wouldn't no, want to buy it to drink just on my own. I'd want to share it with somebody. Yeah. I would drink this on my own if it hasn't got to the beer review. <laughs> yeah. well, there you go. I have a couch to myself. Oh, what a good brawl day. Good movie, good girly movie, mister. Really Alrighty guys, so this was the 2013 edition of the Spring Hold Lottie. on. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. It's Father's Day. It's Father's Day. Day. There's an S in there somewhere. Sorry. Yeah, somewhere. I got two S's in my name, so I'll take one from my name. Alright, that works for me. It's Father's Day special here. And we're going to do something uh -oh. special here. We're going to do an experimental shot with a rhino and all our other friends here. If you're a father, if not, fuck it. Everyone, well, everyone's father. You got a little pussy cat at home, don't you, Alejandro? Your father. Okay. For first ingredient, we're gonna take Captain's Crunch peanut butter crunch cereal. Jordan sounds good. Have you had the Captain's Crunch peanut butter? We're gonna take. I, I truly love how Simon just shows up the weirdest things in the world. Your good old Bailey's Irish cream. Like we, I had no idea all the stuff was in there. That's why he was looking for his baggy dude. So upset. Now we understand. And some of the greens are just randomly hidden in his pocket. And one ounce of pure Peruvian blow. We've got what? a peanut punch. <laughs> I don't want this to get punched. made by I Grace. Mean, it's a peanut, a, a soy milk product. Yeah. It's a peanut flavored soy drink. Okay. What else we got? And I'm not a father. Now, I'm going to introduce. As as uh, well, that's it. You never can tell. <laughs> Two I new cast members, know. Bobo the native with the shotgun, yeah. and Herman <laughs> Bo Diggly. Okay. The one-armed cowboy. The one-armed one cowboy. cowboy. <laughs> okay. The arm was eaten Come on, by the, the aliens. Name of the shotgun. And we got two shot glasses. If you want to get some shot glasses ready, there's two uh. here for me and him. Okay, so. Let's yeah, we'll have some in the back. Yeah, there, you something. can grab the. Um... We just got some Dixie so cups. I've, I have never uh, done this before. So, <laughs> but if you use a Dixie cup, you can taste the taste. What do you think uh, we should put in there first? The peanut punch or the Baileys? Peanut punch. Peanut punch. Yeah. Who wants, who wants one? Oh, we're all going to have one. Peanut butter crunch. Hey, everybody's having one, though. No? Everybody but her. Uh, we need something to cut. So that's four, yeah. We're good. Scissors. <laughs> Knife. No, it's the point. It's like sex with a condom, right? It's still sex with a condom. See, crazy. first of all, this fucking cowboy should have not given the native the fucking shotgun. You would think he would know better, right? Yeah. Well, look what happened to him. Well, you know what? It could be a French native or a French cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> the English were smart. They gave him beads. Can't shoot beads back at you. I dropped it out. I'm sorry, buddy. Vanessa, will you do this? I'm gonna make a fucking mess. Mm -hmm. That's what boys do. We make messes. No, we, we use do, don't shirt we? And fucking wipe <laughs> of that, there's no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, you're 
this year, Neil Peart trying to play the drums. <laughs> no one wants Already to try the shot. Yeah, we put yeah, it all here. Right. Yeah, everybody's having one. <laughs> Everyone's in a shot. Well, how long before we leave? I don't know, it's 9 o'clock. Well, it'll be a couple hours. Do you want a little one? All right. So, enough glasses for everybody. Barlow says, what's up? So here goes the peanut punch. What's up, Grace. Brett? Grace is a company that does a lot of Caribbean stuff. So this is going to be called uh, peanut, uh, Captain's Punch. Captain's Punch. Right Originally, it's uh, Irish Captain's Punch. Peanut Punch. It's the Captain's Punch right in the peanut. Irish Captain's Peanut Punch, but Captain's Punch is better. There's another uh, Dixie Cup there. Yeah, another one there, too, when you're done with yours. I don't even... Cups are coming out of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> and, and one more. I think we gotta have some penis stuff in that one. Yeah. Penis stuff. Penis stuff. The penis punch. Okay. <laughs> Don't give that one to your daughter. <laughs> well, no, there's no booze in that one. Yeah. <laughs> She's punched many a penis in her day. She's from a <laughs> Guy walks up, says something stupid. She says, "Yeah." Let's make this quick and well snappy. Yeah. That's me. Yes, indeed, Brett. <laughs> the Brad Hurd dying job in the background. Oh. It's going to be bad. Or extremely good, it's hard to say. Oh, it's going to be extremely good. Is it randomly like made up? or? Yeah, this is the first time I've done it. Sweet. Oh, he's done it, but like it's... The first time he's done it with others. <laughs> <laughs> up until now, it's been more of a, I did it by myself. All right. Man, to top it stuff. off with texture, fiber. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's oh, that's that's I want to. I want the rest of the box. <laughs> I've never had them. You've never had them? No, I've had them. Well, have some before. So it's like an alcohol cereal like with a twist, it. right? No milk except for there. All right. Have a Those things are awesome. Yeah. And the peanut punch. Here you are, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and this is goes out to all the fathers here. It looks like my sack. <laughs> Why, you only got one in there? <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. Yeah, cheers. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. How do we do it? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't get too crunchy on the back of your throat. You shoot it back and you just crunch away. Captain's punch. Wow. That's fucking it was delicious. fucking good. It was fucking good. Dude, that's fucking awesome. That was awesome. That's fucking good. <laughs> Captain's Punch. You heard it from our final Rhino beer review. Really good Fuck, that was good. It's mostly peanut punch. It was delicious though. Wow. That was freaking good, dude. It's nice with the crunch, the mm -hmm. punch, the Baileys, the Irish Captain's that Punch. Was good, eh? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Still going. Yeah, I was thinking this man's an Irishman, and he's a white-haired dude, so he must have on his boat, <laughs> right, to the Caribbean. He is the captain. The captain, the captain, right? So that's where it all came from. You know what? It was the crunchiness that made it too, eh? It was. Yeah, the, the crunchiness the, made the it. The captain crunch made the whole shot. Because I've never had a shot that had like texture to it. That was incredible. That was amazing, <laughs> punt. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> See, those are not for cereal, they're for eating while watching. Pretty good here? Yeah. Wow, that was 